Now this is a noisy minor bird from Queensland. This little chick, probably the weakest one because there was two there and one was stronger than the other one. I didn't find that out until I found this fire. Little girl I think. In the middle of the lawn. Looking pretty sick. It was cold. The mornings are a little bit nippy at the moment. And, uh, these little fledglings sort of get cat off out of their nest and uh, try and brave it out there and they get fed by the whole family as long as they survive but this one here was a bit a bit cold so I warmed it up I thought it was going to die actually but it didn't die and um, I was a bit concerned about what to feed it and then uh, I realised by chance actually that when I stuck it outside that the uh, all the parents and all the brothers and neighbours and all of the the family come down and started feeding it. So, so I thought that was good. I don't have to worry about that. Mind you, I did give it a little bit of um, water and a droplet with a little bit of honey in because these things are actually uh, nectar, nectar uh, birdies. And uh, they, they like a little bit of nectar. They've got these long little skinny tongues that come out. So anyway, oh, this one here, I actually left it out for a while, uh, all day, and then thought it should be okay during the night, it perched up on a tree, but uh, the next day I found it at the bottom of the tree looking pretty sick again. There's one of the, one of the mummies, they can hear it. What it's doing is chipping, they call it chipping, not chirping, chipping. That's their noise, and they do that all day, and uh, the whole family comes down and feeds it. So what I did there the other night was, uh, when I found it down the bottom of the tree, I put it out, I warmed it up again, put it out, and um, and the, the family fed it again, and, but that night I made sure I found out where it was, and then I took it and brought it inside and perched it up on my microphone. Sat there all night, went to sleep. And then the next morning I put it out again, after the sun came out, and they started to feed it again. So that's what you do. That's what you do. You put them out and let them be fed. And uh, if they're a little bit, haven't got that many feathers like this one, you could probably take them in at night like I did. And that's how you look after them. Hold a sec.